You know, we've always said Discover is a closed platform and we choose the types of content we want to promote on our platform. So we're well within our First Amendment rights to decide uh, what shows up on there. And, you know, in, in terms of our business and our community, we're very focused on our values and expressing our values uh, through the things that we promote on Snapchat. So I think it was a relatively easy and uh, straightforward decision and we'll continue to try to create a Discover experience that reflects our values and promotes the types of content that we think uh, are important for our community to see. Social media has definitely been in President Trump's crosshairs. He has this social media order which threatens to limit companies' ability to censor or to flag potentially offensive or problematic content. What do you think of that order and what could it mean for you and for your fellow social media companies? Well, I think what you're talking about specifically are the proposed changes to Section 230. You know, actually, Section 230 was designed to promote free speech uh, because what it tried to do was allow platforms to take the steps necessary to, you know, create a safe environment, try to remove content that's violent or threatening or otherwise abusive, but generally create a, a place uh, where speech could be hosted freely and not hold uh, platforms directly accountable for speech that individuals make on that platform. And so that the I, I think actually the thrust of Section 230 was to protect and promote uh, people's ability to speak freely on these technology platforms. So I'm not sure, um, you know, frankly, uh, how these changes uh, that are being proposed would impact Section 230, but I do think it is important to you know, reiterate the First Amendment. There seems to be some confusion about the First Amendment and who that applies to. And it's the First Amendment is very specific. It's actually designed to protect individuals and private businesses from the government. So I think the really interesting thing here, and you're seeing lots of businesses and brands exercise their free speech. Uh, you know, for example, NASCAR said, hey, we don't want our fans to show up with Confederate flags. That's another example of a private business exercising their right to free speech. Uh, and on their premises. So I think, you know, Snapchat really, uh, we, we embrace those rights. We're grateful to have a First Amendment here in this country. And we want to use our First Amendment rights to stand up for the things that we believe in.